It's Sunday, October the 15th, and it's time for the 15th day of Halloween. No lie, it's kind of a lazy Sunday for me, and I'm having a really hard time focusing. And I also wanted to do something local. So today, we're talking about Anderson, South Carolina, and Crybaby Bridge, one of the most haunted locations in the town. I love living in South Carolina, and I really like featuring its history. It has a lot of dark history, but it also has some really great things. Like, for example, Anderson is the birthplace of Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman. And they're very proud of that. In fact, when he died in 2020, he's buried nearby in Belton, South Carolina. Wakanda forever. Seriously, he was a great guy. The Chadwick Boseman Foundation for the Arts is a charity that funds the education of African people in the arts and entertainment industry and it's definitely worth a look but on to the spookies. If you're familiar with paranormal activity then you're probably familiar with some of the common factors. Generally speaking you need some sort of trauma to have caused it. This can be a violent act like war or unaliving someone. It can be something emotionally traumatic a lot of strong feelings like despair or anger. But this entity, once it's been removed from the original source, it doesn't have an energy source anymore. So it has to pull from its environment. That's why oftentimes before a ghost will appear, you'll hear someone say something like it suddenly got cold. And the temperature will in fact drop. You can see your breath and everything often. Another thing that is common with spirits is often they're in woods or around living water like rivers and lakes. And that's because this is living energy and a source that it can draw from. Many times you'll also hear about mechanical failure. Batteries will die suddenly for cameras, flashlights, cars. And that too is a source of energy that they're pulling from so that they can manifest. You won't always see full body apparitions though. Sometimes it's just going to be a mist, uh, a transparent specter. Sometimes it's just orbs or a disembodied voice. Well, South Carolina has a lot of all of these things. It's divisive and volatile. History has plenty of trauma to cause events. And the amount of abundant nature, lakes and rivers gives it plenty of fuel as well. Crybaby Bridge is the nickname for Poinsett Bridge, which was built in 1820 and is the oldest bridge in South Carolina. It's also on private property and no longer a public bridge. A, another bridge was built adjacent to it, so you can see it. But the private property thing hasn't really hindered too many people from going on these ghost hunts because you can actually find lots of videos on the other platform with the play button. The tube of you. It's important to note that the haunting or activity on Poinsett Bridge, AKA Crybaby Bridge, doesn't seem to actually be that intelligent. Although there have been stories of people being touched, scratched, or whispered in their ear. By and large, most of it seems to be the kind that kind of plays over and over again, like a, a moment in time that just was so horrible that the energy won't move on. There are actually several different legends on what could be happening here, and I didn't really find a clear answer, but they were all pretty much your standard. One legend is that the man who no longer wanted to be with his wife and had another lover, took his wife and baby out there to kill them. Another story is that a young woman married and her husband went to war. She was pregnant when he went away. And when she found out that he died at war, her and her young newborn baby met an ill fate at her own hands in her despair. 
that one has two different versions one where clutching her baby she plunges in and the other where she threw the baby and thought about starting a new life but in her grief decided to follow the baby over the bridge the bridge actually is surrounded by some very pretty cascades but this isn't the kind of place that you want to have an accident at night Many people report that if you go out onto the bridge in the middle of the night and shut off your car, you can hear a baby crying. You can also see the figure of a woman pacing the bridge, whether she's looking for her child or whether she's building up the gumption to go herself. You will often feel a chill when you're on the bridge at night, as well as hear disembodied voices, see orbs, and then the specter. I forgot to mention there's also another version of the story where the woman was walking across the bridge carrying her baby during a storm and was knocked off of the bridge by wind or raging waters and washed away. I have a hard time imagining that that caused a haunting though because it again it doesn't fit that traumatic event. It seems like there's something missing to that story but that's just my opinion. Whatever's fueling that haunting, it is a popular spot for ghost hunters. Even my own brother went there, and he did experience some mechanical troubles, I believe. It was either that one, or there's another spot that he went to. But, I mean, like, their car still isn't right. Mystery check engine light. So, if you're going to go to Poinsett Bridge, be mindful it is private property, so technically you're trespassing. And also... Be mindful of where you walk. Brightest blessings, y'all.